we are all fucking Brazilian. What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session. Today, we're going to be looking at pocket pairs. Uh, so basically, how to play pairs in many different scenarios. So let's get sounds, started here. Sounds good. Under the gun one opens, you have jacks. What do you guys So here, play? heuristically, one thing I do know, when you're facing EP, and you're like, flat, I thought. You're, you're middle position or EP, like jacks through nines, maybe even eights are pretty heavy flats. I would not be surprised to see jacks starting to three bet a little bit here. A little bit. Yeah. Queens plus is the main three bet, I think. But uh, yeah. So you, if we you have to guess, how often do we think we call her? I'd say, about eight, I'd say about 80%. Call. Yep. I'm down with that. 50 50 for me. That's kind of with Joe. I'm 50 50. I'm like, I'm 30 70, 70% 70 raising, 30%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I, I think it's more called than raise. Right. So Ooh. the 80 20 split. The 80 20 I said 80. Split. Yeah, 80 20. All right, I'm, I'm done for the day. I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's that? Look at those queens. Right, so like heuristically, the idea you, you see it through here is what um, they're opening up. Uh, what I've seen is like if you're opening up like a queen there, it's usually queens and above, like the same thing with the other like the other positions. I think like when you're opening up tens, you want to be raising tens and above. Yeah, I think some of it also is the fact that we're sixty big blinds deep. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of their response is just going to be to four bet jam, and we're just going to kind of box ourselves into losing here versus a lot of stuff. Check. Yeah. If we call it pre, I think we're just checking, managing the pot. I don't know. Feels like if I have to bet something, this is I, I thought I, I, I thought I have a spade. I thought it was an under pair. It is well, under pair. That's what I say you didn't think Juan. It is definitely an under pair. The, 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 well, I'm saying under the queen. Now, don't we usually check those are the ones we check back? Right under. It, there is going to definitely be some checking here. I think. I don't yeah, know. I, I think it's going to be very heavy. Most checking. mostly mostly check against. I think it's players. 100 percent check. Oh, yeah, mostly. <laughs> um, if you wanted to look at the post flop stuff heuristically, I think if we had the spade, you might bet a little bit more. I'm guessing. I don't know but that for sure. The, With the spade, you bet. The eights and sevens will bet more than the jacks. So, yeah. The, a little bit more a little, often, right? A little more. Yeah. A little more. Specifically, if you're unblocking the backdoor flush. Would you, <laughs> another would, would nuance. You open that up again? Would, would you open up that spot again? I just want to look at the smaller pairs because I think that I, I'm, I'm thinking that if our jacks don't bet, our tens and tens are going to bet more than our jacks and like that. You no, should have a reverse play. hierarchy here for sure. So no. like the closest pair like underneath the top pair is going to be the smallest frequency scaling upward as you move down. Yeah. yeah. So threes, threes are betting more, threes are betting more than jacks. No, just Tens start from seven. Right above the six, the sevens, they bet the most and it goes betting less and less and less and less down about here. And around here, it's more value. It's too strong. So it starts to... Oh, well, that's a, those yeah. are, that's a set, Louis. Yeah, I oh, think there's a, like a fives are kind of an interesting one. Like there's some interaction with the six and the four. So it maybe doesn't want to bet as much. But like you see what you're saying with threes and deuces here. They just get a lot of stuff to fold sometimes. So. Okay. Yeah, they got some clearance. So threes and deuces, you want to bet without the spade. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, like, the spade is becoming a, a more and more important component when you have these little ones. Because you could just, if they raise, you could just throw away, basically, right? And then, well, you can also just manage the pot and sometimes win with a really trashy flush. So, check, check. He bets out a bit more than out. When, when you get called, you'd rather just, have the spade draw than have right. him have just call it. Correct, Scotty. Yeah, this is a pretty slam dunk call. Call at least once, right? Yeah. Zero easy oh. call though. Yeah. Okay. Just check. Oh. I'm gonna check it. Yeah, check, check, check. Check and win. Check and win. Check and lose. Oh. Check and lose. Uh, we I'm probably rising. just three bet this. It's too good. Yep. You do get some calling. You do yeah. some calling. Ow. Fifty-six percent calling. 
man. Oh my god. What is that? I get a little stick in my stomach when I see this kind of stuff. I'm raising Jack's boss there. I mean, right, like calling Jack's there doesn't feel too crazy to me, but calling Queens 56% of the time. We're Oof. against under the gun. We need to be extremely cautious. Yeah, for sure. No. Let's call. Let's see what we do when we call. It's going to come on a side board, and we're going to be like, ugh. Oh, no, this is great. All right, I'm big Yay. camp here. Yeah, I'm betting. Uh, um, I would not be surprised to see 8.9 uh, here. I don't know if I'm betting that big, though, because I have the queen block. I have the queen of spade. I yeah. mean, what is he going to continue with, really? I'm probably going small here, to be honest. He has, no, he has a bunch of jack X. I mean, he projects his range pretty well. He has all kinds of stuff here. So, like, you have what you call the effective nuts, anything better than top pair here, and it's the most vulnerable variety of it. Your hand is EV comparatively, has EV comparative to aces right now. So the same as that reverse hierarchy, you're going to see large bets from queen, a little bit smaller from kings, and um, you might bet you know, middle to small with aces here. Yeah, I would probably think. going small here. So this is like the aggregated report, a lot like my graphs, but it's like vertical instead of horizontal. And mm -hmm. in general, when it's like EP versus LP, early position is going to be super polar. It's going to have like big bets and it's going to check a lot. Mm -hmm. And in position, in general, He's just either checking or using the small size. So the yellow is the small size. So across all over, like we're mostly using the small size. But here, I mean, like our range wants to bet small here. That's what I'm sure. Saying. But mm -hmm. does this hand wants to bet small? I don't I'm think betting so. small. I don't I think would think so. uh like what you said you the range for king turns. You can't get value. Right now you get paid by jacks, by like pocket seven, by all of his six X. Uh, whereas a king comes, we're not comfortable to bet anymore. We can't build the pot, even though our opponent just has the jack, right? Yeah, I think if I didn't have the spade, I'm betting big. So I think I like uh, it's a I think I think yeah, I think you find even more big bets with uh, the no spade, but you can still find big bets with this, I'm sure. Oh, that's right, Tim. Having the spade in our hand reduces the the bet size and the bet frequency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're allowed to slow down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna I mean, try to still slam this bet. Well, that, well, that's why I was saying small because yeah. of that. See, it's betting small okay. because we have this paint. Yeah, and yeah, worth pointing out that the EV is great all the way up to that 5.9 size, and mm -hmm. then yeah. So let's look at uh, when you don't have the spade. If it it's going to push the sizes a little bit larger, I would imagine. Yeah, I would have bet bigger without a spade. Yeah, a little bit of bigger bets. Just a sliver because the three spades are here and the three non spades are here, and it's a sliver bigger here. Generally, though, like you were saying, it's Very just a small, spin. small bet, though. Yeah. And this, in this general motion, partially because I think we need to not give up the game. Like he has a check raising strategy against us, and we are supposed to give him room to go with that. So, we yeah, that's, that's with a bunch fair. of our medium strength hands, and then uh, get the call down when he polarizes and check raises us, and we just have the effect of nuts. We're happy yeah, to call down against Ace Jack. Yep, yeah, that's that's correct. Um, so when the flush comes here, I, my first question is who has the more flush, the most flushes? I think well, we do, don't we? I'm not you, sure. You if I had to more, guess, we kind of call a condensed range here, and he raises uh, like he's under the gun, so he's tight, but we miss the all the best flushes. Oh, okay. I think we oh. have more flushes here. I'm pretty sure as a flatter. I'm feeling like it's a little bit balanced because I think he check calls flop with some like eighteen to ten. Louis, slow down and show me where you look this up. Where do you see who has the most flushes? That's what I want to see. Well, this is the strategy plus EV window here, uh -huh. and yep. then I have three other options here: the ranges. That are gonna put both range and the good old equity graph on bio. Uh, you have the breakdown. This is what we're looking for right now. Okay, breakdown uh, flush. Breakdown, yeah. So you click, points, make sure tips. you're on, you're on your 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 good the good player. So this is for yes. the cutoff here. The cutoff mm -hmm. has the flush ten percent of the time. That's three gonna... combos only. Whereas under the gun has the flush seven percent. So we have more flushes here. 
but okay. it's the not, same not number. By, not by much. Yeah, not by much. Pretty close. Okay. So flush, I'd say, is quite neutral here, but it's good no. since we have a spade. The board pairs. I'm going bigger bet now on this one. Ah, can we can we size up here? I think you could. You're still getting yeah. value from Jack X. Six and a half. And yeah, I, I, an eight I'm, ace of spade type hand. I kind of want to go eight. Yeah, I want to go this number. I think I'm going. Yeah, yeah that's good. Mm, good. Eighty percent bet on the start. Bam. It's the closest thing to get you all in on the river. All right. We just. <laughs> so this is going to be a flat, pretty high yeah. frequency. Yeah, yeah flat. If not, like, yeah, okay. I was thinking not a full frequency. What percentage was it? It was like 15%. Uh, really, yeah, 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 really high. So, Chris, if you want to figure out the percentages, you can always click here on the node, and it's going to tell you the actions. Okay. Um, okay, so he sized up a little bit. I mean, this is what pill one time. F, yeah, you get you do got to pill one time for sure. How many bets do we need to call? Say that turn is at deuce. Are we gonna fold? No, depends on what he no. does. Yeah. It depends on sizing the no. Okay, so let's call. Four is a good one. Uh, half pot. I'm calling again, probably. Yeah, probably have to. Uh. Oh, what what are we gonna? I do? think the flop was an easy call. Ask I think you. this one's pretty break even. I think this one's pretty close. So he's gonna continue with hearts. He's gonna have like ace of heart, X okay. hand. You, you know what? We blocked the backdoor flush. So if the heart comes on the river, we can call a little bit more often because we have the seven of heart. So blocking the hearts here, I think is good. So we call. Nope, 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 nope. nope I nope, felt nope, like nope. a fold, but I thought it was way too nifty. So look at what like nines or tens are doing just to kind of get a comparison to see where it's drawing that line. Cause I think you are going to continue with some pairs below a Jack. Yeah. Those will more because you're blocking the back door straight and the back door flush with the seven. Ten, right? ten XNs and eight XNs are bad because they are back blockers. It's clear. Prefers. Yeah. Yeah, and where is it splitting hairs? Does it want to have a heart that, or does it wanna... What do you mean they had back blockers? Say, can you explain that? Look at the nature of pocket 10, okay? It, it returns 0 0.37 EV, okay? And if you look at like uh, the very next, uh, the like uh, something similar, like pocket nines, uh, pocket nines is full frequency, okay? And then you see here it's mixing. Okay. I think he's asking, uh, Louis, why is it bad? Yeah, the numbers yeah. make it pretty clear. I think it's got something to do with the floor of his opening range. Well, and yeah. I think tens. I think tens uh, block a lot of his opening range. Yeah, Kelly. As yeah, yeah. you want to fold. Well, I agree. it's more like I think we block the bluffs on on the turn. Right. Yeah. Because that's it. He, he's betting like big on the turn. And he's betting big with 10 XNs. Right. So have two of two tens in our hand. It's not, we block like all the whiffs in his range. So it's more right. like same, same thing. Yeah, I agree with that. And, and then it's the same see, with like eight. the same thing from pocket eight. That's what we see. Somehow we don't see the same pattern with pocket nines, but it should be the same thing with pocket. I eight. think it's because you got more combo nine in your range than him on your position. Maybe so. No. No. no? Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I try. I tried to find the reason, to be honest. But it's probably like very, very close. Like I would it, think it's just uh, it's a it's a balancing thing. I don't think you can just fold all of these pairs full frequency. So it, it's probably just splitting hairs with one of them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, to the point, like, is it bad to have the heart, though, is kind of the question. And yes, if you're blocking the backdoor flush, which is blocking his continue bluffs, essentially, um, it makes it more of a fold. So well, tell you it, what, I just noticed something. It, must, it might be very thin, but check this out. The ones that are folding here that are mixing with pocket tens are the same suits. Like if you look at pocket nine with the same suits, if you compare EV, the EVs for these same suits are a lot worse than the other ones by 3X. 
And then hey, Louis, park Tim's, at eight, it's the same thing again. It's always Tim's the same. Also block a rock. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, I hear Tim's you, also, Kelly. Hey, Tim's also block a lot of his wraparound hands to the jack, too. Yep. Yep, that's true. All right. Can you show, please, uh, Villain's um, flop betting range? Yeah. The flop betting range should be uh, centralized around offsuit tens, I would think, and like suited eights, really. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking his RFI range. What he's actually doing on the flop is what you're asking. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so we, in, in my opinion, we can see he play, uh, bluffs all his uh, backdoor flushes with the uh, the nut flush uh, possibility and also all uh, hands wrapping around the jack like uh, king 10 suited, king 9 suited, queen 10 suited, queen 9 suited, and obviously all jacks. So uh, that's probably the, the reason uh, tens are pretty more a fold than nines because of the frequency of uh, king 10 suited and queen 10 suited are a bit more. Than well, the, uh, here, nine here's our nine. question here. We see that tens are mixing, eights are mixing, but nines are not. So it's probably not a very big thing, but we were just wondering why nines are not mixing as well as 10xns or 8xns. I, uh, do I missing something? Uh, king nine suited, queen nine suited uh, are also mixing, or isn't it? Well, here's what I'm saying. These three are playing much alike, right? So oh, okay. 10 XNs, okay. 9 XNs, 8 XNs are playing very similarly. But if we, if we look at our turn strategy, 9s are not as bad as 10s and 8s. King 9s so better than King 10. They, they don't yell similarly, even though they play the, the, the on the flop, the 10 XNs, the 9 XNs are very, very similar, right? And the betting frequency and strategy, even if in the EV, very, very close. So just- If you check the I, EV I don't on think the- we, Yeah, I think we should move on. <laughs> if you check the EV on the flop, the King nine and the King 10, it's like same. And on the turn, the King nine, it's like a double the EV than the King 10, 50% more. Yeah. I don't understand the point. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now we're on the river and uh, we're on the low part of the tree. Uh, so we should be full. We should be gone already. So yeah, yeah, we should on be gone. <laughs> Just move on from it. Pocket like sevens under the gun one. I would Spring call here. Call. Yeah, flat. Call. Mm -hmm. Do you have any bottom up here? Um, uh, oh, it's an ace. I got to check. Yeah. I think, I think I'm when you're uh, pairs are check. to, to answer the question real quick, um, I think you continue bit. with all pairs since you're in the yeah. small blind. And you've already committed half a big blind versus an open. Yeah, not a hundred percent sure on that, but what I do think you that's... think the deuces are. I thought it was all pairs. Mix. Question for you, Galen. <clears throat> yeah, Joe. If it's a three X, okay. do you call with all pair on small blind? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie fold, Cassie Probably going fives plus. If it's I, I would, Joe. I would call all pairs because I can't see the deuces. Are the deuces in there too? Yeah. Yep. You know, I might have a range yeah. for this on PFA. I'll check quickly while you guys are doing that. Verse RFI small blind. Well. Oh. So we're above the six here. So guideline in general, an A side board against early position, our range wants to way mm. over fold. But when we're above the six, I would call at least one bet here. Yeah, I would call. Yeah, especially a small bet. He's just going to be so range. What do you do? What, what would you do if the bet was larger, though? Uh, Let it go. Fold, I'm starting to consider. I'm I'm calling anyway. Like uh, it's. Like it's 40 big blind, he shouldn't have that many big bets. But say he finds like uh 3.65, I'm calling it. Man. You should you should drive the example home and use a big big bet. Use like a uh, yeah, the like big, a, use the bigger one, 8.3, like 83 yeah. percent. Yeah, no, but, it's not really yeah, 5.5, it's not really a thing in the range. <laughs> yeah, uh, now eight, you're starting to fold, right? Yeah, uh, you're folding a lot. So it is twos plus still, right? Yeah. In, in, yeah. in which uh, world? <laughs> in which world you raise it with seven there? 
<laughs> on the big bill. Uh, yeah, you don't. <laughs> Check. Fold. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? I play this game real good, but when I play the actual game, it's totally different. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. All right, uh, you guys see mixed frequencies here. I I'm think. gonna raise this actually. Do you know how often I mix here in game? <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah, 16. you're never calling here. It's just raising yeah, really, though. Raising. Yeah. All right, thank you. Jeez. So we are sixty okay. big blinds too. Is yeah, sixty big blinds now. If it were forty, it might mix a bit more. But even I think then, at I, four D, it's a auto raise. I, I mean, I raise it full frequency at 40, yeah. but just playing devil's advocate. Um, yeah, it's not. It's just raising. So I kind of like continuing maybe for, what do you think, that's, half? That's I think 11. 11? Big blind seems good. I don't want to do small here, I don't think. Nope, your range wants to go small. But this hand is sizing up. Well, out of but, position, is it your big bet only half pot anyway? Usually, uh, right? Well, it, it in, really in depends on your bet, SPR. In three bet pots, one, whether you're out of position and in, in or in position on the flop, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna be either the caller or the three bet, or that that's a lot more relevant than okay. whether you're in position or out of position. But uh, to, to your point, if I you think look it, at the EVs. If you look at the EVs there, they're pretty close between 5, 5, and 11. Well, it's because their range, I think, wants to bet small. But this very right. hand is sizing up for value and protection. Oh, right. the range is not betting small a lot here. Interesting. Oh, yeah, but, that's right. Yeah, I was going to say, there's, Louis. There's another thing I, I, I figured out recently. I'm going to show it. 10, 10, 9, 4, 2 tone. <laughs> it's kind of like Jack 10, X, 2 tone to a lesser degree. <laughs> The same as it is queen 10 two-tone to a lesser yeah. degree. So this here is uh, the aggregate reports for uh, the big blind against the, the, the whole table uh, in three bet pots. So this is like our strategy across all textures, across uh, all positions for three bet pots from the big blind. And we see here that on jack high boards and on the 10 high boards, uh, when we're against the late position, uh, we check a lot on jack eye boards and 10 eye boards. And this is exactly what we're looking at here. It's a 10 eye board. <laughs> and then kind of against like under the gun one and earlier position, it, it shifts from like 10 eye boards to like queen eye boards and jack eye boards as you want to check a little bit more. And these, this is as the tree better and the tree bet pot. The colors so throw me off. What is what is the check? The yellow? I mean the the, what? the check is kind of the grayed out color. Oh, okay, that's um, what was throwing me off. Yeah, I always think yeah. of that as fold, so that's why. Yeah, and uh to kind of just add to what Louis was saying, I think a lot of this has to do with what their calling range is versus three bet. It's very condensed around these cards. It's hard for them not to have some kind of increased equity here. So our hands are gonna want to go larger or check generally on these middling connected two-tone boards so he calls I i'm all in here yeah, yeah i'm with kelly that. i'm all in i'm I yeah, double double plus out. draw straight draw didn't get there I, you well, have to think about what board. is he gonna call for 40 big blinds here like at 40 big blinds you don't get a call from a 9x here but if you bet 20 and then you still have the river to act if you want i, I, I probably, don't I probably just want to take it down big, right now big. Are you really wanting to call? Are you really wanting a call here? Yes. That's my question. Yes, I want him to okay. call 22 more big blinds. Yeah, okay. I'm probably going all in too, just to take it down. It's a lot. Because right if there. you jam any calls, you're going to see a river anyway, right? It's just easier yeah, you're going to, be ahead. to jam any calls, but I think it's too big. We just bet. Yeah, okay. but I want him to have oh, what, about calling what off. What do I know? Tumbo <laughs> draws, tumbo draws <laughs> are you ever folding? Louis, so, you were one Are you ever right? folding? Of course not. No, you're not full. No, I'm not full. Um, right. No, no. What I'm saying is, let's say a heart, or let's say a spade comes on the river. If you bet half and a spade comes on the river, you're just sunk, right? Oh, no. If I you, think 
I think your guess right. is right, Kelly, here, because if, when we go all in here, we might get paid by hearts. We might get yeah, paid. You're gonna get, right, we yeah, never get ahead. paid by them if they break the river. You're going to get paid by the draws and you're way ahead. That's the reason you go all in. Mm -hmm. Now, what Louis is building off of is a lot of spots like this, um, the solver doesn't do this jamming behavior. And that's like a, that was a common mistake, at least myself was making. I, I was I making. It does that's pick this 50%. It does pick this 50% a lot. Um, it does. Now to the point of this actual specific texture is there's a lot of cards that are going to shut down villain's action on the river. The nature of the board's very draw heavy. So it's like, if he's got spades and it bricks, he's not gonna continue here. Or I guess combo is spades, like King Jack of spades. Right. Um, you, get, you get all the value from that now and it just folds on the river. So. Right. The problem with the spade yeah, the, is not um, sucking out. It's not getting I your entire always, stat. This is a, a board texture that I think of as, um, you know, it's lit up with every draw in the universe and none of them got there on the turn. Absolutely right. nothing got well, there. Well, that, that's the important part is there's a lot of equity draws out there, but no completed equity. So like your overpair is still very valuable here. Kind of what you're saying, Tim, I, I agree. Yep. Yeah, no no straights, no plushes. He has, uh, he has you know, sets and two pairs. This is all that beats us. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. In um in deep stack situations like 100, 150, 200. See, you this is a perfect example right here, by the way, before you click next. The, like, the over bets in the situation um, when we're lit up with the uh, draw. Like this hand, uh, that ace four, you get paid on the turn, but you never get paid on the river. Right. Uh, We just call here. Actually, you might jam here. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, there it is. Mixing. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I think uh, in bad strategy, it's, it's a jam on GTO with some mix. Yeah, I think so too. He just, yeah, he jams a lot of these pairs. Uh, yeah. I think I'm seeing I'm still checking. It's just too low. Yeah, you're folding now, Fold. I think. We got queen ten. <laughs> All time when we fold, you show a bluff. <laughs> Call her. This is going to be towards the. All right, so I wonder what sixes and fives are doing here. Like Calling? at some point, some Calling point they're going to. You're hundred big lungs deep. You want to? Oh, never mind. Down. Yeah, ignore me. Ignore me. I was. Um, I did. I didn't see the hundred big blinds deep bit. What pairs do you three bet there, Louis? It kind of flies to that. I was just curious. Queens. Queens. Another gun one. Oh, I think you can three bet Jacks. Jacks, Jacks under the gun one. Yeah, Jacks. Yeah, but they're going to mix, right? I don't think, think it's Jacks, though. Mix. Probably just Jacks. Yeah. Then mix. Well, Queen's the, even mix. Uh, well, it's it's 100 big blinds deep. You're going to, there's EV yeah. and three betting all of these combos. Oh, okay. So, like, if we're around 50 or 40, then we're just calling those, right? Yeah, you're going to okay. see a lot more of the top heavy strategy. No, I think you're going the other way, wouldn't you? I think you three bet. I'd like to see that. Just yeah. how it, how the construction's differently at like 40, say, in the yeah. same arrangement. I think you three bet more at 40, don't you? I think uh, you do three bet less. <laughs> I think it's less as well. I think it's more top okay. heavy. Yeah, I agree when you with that. when when you are deep, you I'm, want to build a book. I was, nine. Yeah, I was thinking of queens. I was thinking about three betting queens more. Somebody said queens. I think you do three bet queens more oh. for you, and you do it a hundred, right? Yeah, you do. It fits that construction yeah. very nicely. Yeah, the top yeah, heavy yeah, end. Yeah. What do you, you guys want to do here? I would bet small. Um, I'm actually. Ooh. I like betting. I like checking. I'm checking. Yeah. I like to realize my equity here. I think it's more want to get check, a check raised. Too bad. I love the bet. <laughs> well, the way I see this, however, I usually check right under the scenario, cards. Under we the... should be polar, and we should be checking a lot and betting small a lot. And like we need to bet small, like fifty percent of the time. We need to bet equity. Uh, we we're, it's not gonna yeah, be like gonna a... pay off the flush. It's there. there so yeah, I think we're checking. Erase. Yeah, betting yeah. small. 
you go. Big range is checking half half of the time and betting small the other half. Bing bing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, why you don't raise? <laughs> uh, it's not Joe River. <laughs> I, mean, I will raise him, but on the turn. <laughs> yeah. So 80 big blinds, we're going to see that same behavior. It's going to be so mixing calls raise. and yeah. mixing calls and raise. You see, I, I picked up something here today. Queens slow play more than tens against early position. But tens, I think, will call more than they raise. Yep. 60 40. Queens? Tens, call more. Tens. Ah, oh, it's close, right? It's yeah. About the same. Yeah, no. I think it's 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 solver splitting hairs with ranges. Yeah. yeah. But I like this. Uh, you got a call. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or maybe I'm making mistakes here. I'm okay. calling tens. I'm probably throwing away nines and below, though. I don't know. If I'm that's not. Wrong I, I, I'm no, not throwing I'm away. Not. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not throwing away. There. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I, I'm not throwing away pairs at all. Yeah, I'm I don't every pair. Yeah, yeah. Eight, 80 pegs. And I you should, could you or could really not hard. have more than these here. Yeah, no Louis is going to have a lot less of the 10 8 suited <laughs> and a lot more of the fours through deuces here. <laughs> you know what they say, right? Pocket deuce? Call. They never loses. Calling four bets feels bad. Seriously, uh, it's not folding here. No, 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 no. no, 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 no it's too small of a bet. I got to call it. It's a, it's a 10. A yeah, again, it's 10%. Against you got to peel one size. time. Yeah. Nice here. You knew what he got? You got to so, peel one time. So, like, the general... All right, just to go over it, like, before everyone's opinions, like, about it, like, the general heuristic is you're overfolding the spot with an A-side board. Like, Correct. That's, right. sure. that's just... That's what that is. But the counter-argument is it's a tenth of a bet and you have an effective second pair. Yes. Um, I think you do continue here based off of that information. All right. All and right. you look at your range, right? Like you can find- No, I was right. With, on, you can on find the more four, folds with on, eight. On the four you bet have bet. King Jack suited. It's eight. just a fold. 26%. Fold on these high boards. Yeah. So never folding. To you figure out the rest here. Now you fold. Now you can fold. See how you. No, now yeah. you go. Now you're cold. <laughs> now you're now you the, the ace pair is just less likely he has it. And yeah, I, I agree. Think he does that with kings or queens either. So it's a we just we had to go to a price really? on the flop. We can't fold on the flop. Is so, he Louis, we're getting skamazed here, and this is what I was about to say with regards to the flop. There's probably that same reverse hierarchy from kings to tens, where kings defend more than tens. Tens is probably the worst of the second pair over pair hands. What do you for think this I'm going to show you here? A king I bluff? Well, so like what I'm getting at is, all right, the times he's doing this with like king, king or queen, queen, you need a, you need a pair better than tens because all of his bluffs or his value that's not ace x here, we still lose to. You Those know hands you're talking about are mixing bets on the flop, but they're yeah, they are. Heavy. So they are. there are Can mostly they... checks on the flop, right? <clears throat> Uh, but that, that he used a tenth sizing though, like a lot of those hands. Do oh, fit okay, into that. okay, 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 yeah. But we can we see what is his four bet range pre flop just for fun, yeah. And after, a, and after a you're of... gonna have a way more good idea. Me, I think it's four bet range is like queens, kings, ace king, and ace queen suit. Yeah, it's 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 okay, like. Pretty close to what Joe said. You got a little jacks. You got some queens. It's heavy ace x, king x. There's I a am not going to argue with that range with my tens. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, what yeah, are we yeah it's really what are we this beating? part here. These king eyes. That's you're exactly beating, what I thought. Uh, that's all we're beating. Part. That's all. You're Everything beating the, uh, the king it. x. Yeah, you're beating the king x that turned to flush draw. That's about it. Yeah. Also, who well, like know, even when, four bats even when he, eights. Even exactly. when he four bats, he hits it. He hits his most of his bluffs there, right? I mean, his bluffs even hit mm -hmm. with that ace. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, it. We have. He has like seven combos. And furthermore, we're blocking his uh, his bluffs here. Like his king ten king of 10. hearts is a pretty high frequency bluff that we would like him to have yeah. to make this profitable. 
Oh, or, but he, he does. Have, uh, he, he, does uh, <laughs> he does have one of them, though. Okay, yeah. so you know, he does. All right, just jam, 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 jam. No. Nope. Oh wow, twenty-five. It wants to race. If you see that end oh, on the yeah, regular yeah. game, please send me the, the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. That's, that's small. Small. Yeah. If you find somebody for bet the king six suited, please send me the end. Check. I may or may not do that occasionally. I don't want to play against that guy. <laughs> no, yeah, I was going to say, what does a deuce do? Deuce does nothing. I would have had to bet again. Because uh, deuce is a blank, isn't it? So, I mean, well, it brings in some flushes, some flush draws, but yeah. But yeah, that's much. what I'm saying. You don't want to give him a free. You know what I mean? If he does peel the I'm heart. Just stuffing a lot on. Yeah. I would, I would have bet. Turn. I wouldn't have checked the turn. There's going to be some um, ace three, ace five, exactly. ace deuce hands that are picking up equity here. So, I mean, it's not like the biggest blanky blank card ever. But I'm saying if we bet on the flop and the deuce comes, I love that deuce. You know what I mean? Because now I'm going to go up. Because, I mean, then, you, then you're pretty much, if you check, you're just basically giving up your hand, right? Well, not I necessarily. Mean, well, no, you're never get, It's only 20 big blinds. We're not giving yeah. 25, right? We're not giving up our hand. Yeah, you, you're not folding. Even though there's a king out there, I don't think yeah. you get to get away from this at this I point. I just think I'm I have the best hand me. on the turn, too, because I think he would have maybe check raised me. Yeah, and I think that's good. You, know you I mean? just go, just push your equity yeah. with your queen, yeah, so I, it's fine. Especially at yeah, that stat depth, depth, you know what I mean? He's going to want to put money in. Play it like it's a queens. Correct. Yeah, just play it like it's aces. Do you guys jam this turn? Sometimes. Yeah, I, I got mean against the balanced 25. opponent. Yeah. Against a balanced opponent, so. sure. Half pot behind. Yeah, I'm yeah. just. No, I think you jam this one because the way I, I play it is I check. If you suspect he's a little play. nitty, then you need to slow down. But I don't think checking's bad either. Yeah, well, it's not a thing. You can get you can get him to bluff with a nine or something. You know, I mean, I. Personally. Trying to understand why it's an all-in here. Basically. Because so of the stack size. Yeah. I'll, I'll look at his calling are, range. He's I'll calling pose, with, he's uh, two calling with jacks here. and spades and stuff. Would you rather... What do you think's better? Checking and bluff catching or yes. jamming and generating fold equity? I think at this SPR, it doesn't matter. By miles, by miles jam catching. Yeah. Me, me I'm the reverse. I want to deny equity. Yeah, I don't know. I think, maybe, maybe you need to speak think, to the GTO wizard manager about this one. Yeah. For me, we're not gonna fold no matter what, unless an ace comes. Maybe an I'm ace comes, we can take the rest. But yeah, I'm seeing yeah, I, I just think ace, yeah. This one big I think jamming's better personally. Yeah. I, I'm ripping every time there. Yeah, me too. It's a funny end. You got thirteen bigs, dude. Half a pot. Yeah. No, now see now I'm not even jamming there. I'm Ace my four might have paid on the turn, so I have to see oh, you did the check. You did the check, that's why. That's right. So here, Louis, play devil's advocate for a second. What does ace four do there on the turn when all the draws are available before the equity is fully realized on the river? They should death. No, 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 no. When you jam queens is what I'm saying. Oh, they're gonna fold. Do, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Is that is that the case? Yeah, sure. Sure. yeah, they're not going to fold at that SPR, are they? That's yeah. Kelly. That's what I'm getting at here. Is like I don't yeah. know if it's that black and white. I don't well, think we, you got an over card and a flush done. draw. You're half SPR, it's Twenty five percent equity. They're never calling. See what? Before. See what the? Yeah. See what he they're never calls. What? All right, before all of you wizards have. Oh, all I'm your sorry. Opinions, he doesn't have. A, I thought he had a flush draw. Let's Excuse just me. let's just take a look, uh -oh. man. Let's take a look. Unblocking the flush draw is not like horrible. I don't think. Why are we also? Why are we not concerned with him having a king on the river and checking behind and saving the SPR? Him? It's the SPR. You can't fold a hand like queens. So no, not fold. I just mean I, I just mean not bet the river. All right, why breathe. Are we, are let's let's hey, well, let's breathe, let's breathe, let's breathe, let's breathe, and we're going to tackle one topic at a time. Topic okay. number one: What is Ace Four suited of diamonds doing on the turn versus jam? Okay, so let's look at Ace Four on the turn when we get when the big blind jams. What are they doing? Snap fold. Ace Four snap fold. Now, is it a snap fold? Let's see. <laughs> All right, you GTO wizards, it's a snap what? Fall. 
Snap for them. Right. So back to the point, I don't think you care. This is one of the arguments for jamming the turn. You either have a super powerful draw with bottom pair and ace as a backdoor card to hit the river or and a flush draw. Or the other option is you're block, unblocking all the flush draws. SPR is a half. He's going to have some bluffs here in this range construction. This is why I think you jam the turn as opposed to like jamming the river. You never get called by this hand on the river when you jam. Yeah, but who's yeah. going to call you with days four in game? Like what are yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, well, they can put us on spade. What if they put sure, us on what you as say as is theoretically, theoretically perfect, but no one's right? ever gonna do that. No, they're not. Well, see, okay, I will I throw this more back reasonable at you. Hand to compare against you know what? Just, Tell you what, maybe I down. would on a very look bad day. So Nobody's I will strong word. I will throw this back at you in this, Louis. Since you never do this node in game, how do you know the results of the node? Well, I think what I'm wow. I, mean, I think Saul gonna, would you ever call? Does that make sense? Yes. Do you, the answer is I'm a calling station. I would call. I'm oh. kind of with Kelly. Maybe okay. I might call here. Okay. I see myself on a bad day calling now. I see myself <laughs> doing that. He has a lot of We have a lot of blood. Okay. Blood, so okay. Don't maybe. We? Maybe you guys are right. Let's move on. It is Come 11 on, percent wait. equity. Stop. Stop. Wait. I have those days every day. No, Larry. it's okay. It's okay. We've seen it. So I need to address my game. We get value from work. So <laughs> Scott Stop. had a question. Scott had a question. But also Sawa had, Sawa had a really, really good point there. So we were looking at the flop, not the turn. Yep. Oh, were we? Yep. Yes. No, <laughs> no we're looking at the flop and the turn. Nope. We want that turn action. <laughs> we wanted to know the turn for the four. That's where you were asking. Yes. So we, we we answered the wrong question. No, exactly. we did it. We looked at it when the, we go all in on the turn. Ace four is calling. Okay. Ace four diamond. That. Yeah. Yes. Well, Ace four diamonds is a slam dunk one. Obviously, I mean, it's more. The question is about the ones that are unblocking Excuse the flushes. Me, it's 0.01 one. One. calling. Exactly. Who the fuck and then, called and this then, shit? It's uh, a very interesting. Kelly, it seems. Well, when I have the cheat show wizard up while I'm playing, that's what I use. I'm kidding. Right. Right. And I might be guilty <laughs> of a call here when I'm having a bad day. There's one other thing, Lily, on the previous hand. Th this was the real question. While on the river, when we play it as played, why are we, on those last 13 big blinds, why are we not concerned about the, his king and protecting our tournament life there? Why are we not a marginally made hand on the river? Uh, because he goes check check on the turn. He's never checking a king on the turn. Oh, we didn't bet the. We okay. No, because for me, when I see bet an ace high board and I get a call and I have a hand like kings or queens or jack, I I fall in like bluff catching mode. Because after I I okay. find a stab and he okay. calls, it could be shift right because I stab with a lot of bluffs, maybe more bluffs than GTO. So uh, for me, I have right. to slow down with a big portion of my range, and then I have to buckle up. So that's gotcha. how so I check. I gotcha. We checked. We checked the turn was why, and yeah. he didn't bet. Yeah. Right. Okay. So then after it goes check, check, I mean, I have second pair. I want to get paid. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Now we can play deuces. Yeah. Well, they, they never lose this, so. Never lose, but they're going to check. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the deuce? Yeah. Still check. See, we're going to win. Check. Oh, yay. Yay. We made it to the river. There we go. He's a, okay. All right. Never. This is a uh, pretty clear call for me. Well, sometimes it raises. It actually a raises a lot. A yeah. lot. I'm not raising. That what, what's the raise sizing? It's oh, just it's a, big blinds. It's a little. It's a little raise, Kelly. It's going to be like six big blinds or something. Five point seven, five point eight. Okay. Small, right? Yeah, it, it's, about a, it's about a three x. Oh, on this flop texture, I think you do bet small. Small. Yeah, it's a, it's the flush draw. We always bet small. I mean, small. we always bet small on monotone boards, whether we have it or we don't. Even really, really small. small. <laughs> okay, well, twenty percent. Wow, yeah. screw that. I don't really have that bet. No, mine small. Is yeah, small. continue well, the, small. Go the, like small six again. big blinds. Yeah. No, nope. I think it's going to size up a little bit. I think it's going to go more like bet three six five. That's what I. Think. We want to get called by a flush draw bad. 
Maybe okay. even six point so one. What's your range willing to do here? Yeah. You're going to do a lot of a lot of checking, and you're going to size up a smidge here, I think. Me, I size up some time there. So like, what's a good not, turn not for us, and what's a bad turn for us? Uh, every turn's a good one, except Deuce. Exactly. Every river. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we're really yeah. polar, right? So right now we hit, right? But most of the time, this is a terrible turn for us. So yeah. what we need to do as in position on monotone boards, we see that range on the flop very often, always small size. And what we need to do is to dodge a spade on the turn or dodge the board pairing. So here we hit, but for our range, this is terrible. So I'm really curious to see what we're supposed to do here. But I know for sure we want to check a lot. Do we want to check this end? Dude, this is it. This is insane. In, I think insane. it's going to be polar. I think it's going to be very polarized. You got to bet this hand. You need it... to bet like a six big blind or nine big blind there a you're, lot. You're, you're right. You're right, though, Louis. Do do? Like a lot of the range does check here um, for the reasons you stated. I think this is just one of the exceptions to that. Like it's the best hand. It's the effect of nuts. 6.1. Hey, but, you got to think of this as a polarized uh, polar situation where you're going to bet big or check. Yep, right. I I agree with that, Kelly. Change okay, change yeah. change the turn and put the three green, not the two green. Yeah, it's going to be we're going to barrel. On you're going to go. See. Yeah, you're going to be kind of a savage with your barreling here because it's like this is like a badoogie. It's just a complete brick. Yeah, big barrel. Now, to be fair though, you're still checking forty percent of the range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it didn't change the whole. Yeah, but it goes back to the flood, yeah. right? I, I just don't get why we're betting big, though. If it, that's why I'm kind of a little confused, because I'm thinking, why would I bet big when I basically got the nuts, and I probably want him to, I want him to peel another one. So one, what what hands is he peeling on the flop that he's not peeling on the turn to a half half pot size bet? Okay, say that again. What Check hands down. do you okay? Like, there are going to be some. Um, uh, what hands generally do you think are going to peel the flop and fold to the turn here when the two pairs versus the sizing? Any under pairs, obviously, I would think. What just happened to the size of what just happened to our sizing there, maybe there. some. Yeah, but like maybe some small flushes. I don't even think small flushes would necessarily be out of there. I think so. I think he'd have to have a bigger. I'm just saying because it paired. I'm thinking the way I would think at it. I get what you're saying. I'm just that's what's confusing to me because I would bet small or check kind back of a, to try to get him hit to try to let him hey, hit. Hey Juan, yeah. I had the same problem. I was, you know, been in some uh, training sessions with Matt, and uh, I think the problem is you don't think of. I don't think I would. I I shouldn't be thinking of it like that. You think of these these situations as whether they're. Uh, a polar or not polar to your range. And that situation is definitely polar because if you're betting there, you're saying, hey, I got a big hand, right? You're not yeah. betting small. You're either checking there or you're going to size up. And okay. so if I, when I started thinking like that, it's a little easier to understand because I, you know, because first of all, that guy's got a strong range there in the end of the gun, right? Yeah. So he, he's got to call, he's got to call with some of his bigger hands. He can't just fold. That, I mean, makes that makes sense. That makes sense. There without the ace of spades. What makes sense is uh, we have to look into the stack sizes too. If we have around about 60 plus PVs, I guess the solver pick a um, polarized betting size over betting. But with these shallow stacks, we just need 55% and can jam the river. And he still called the same hands uh, like on the turn. And maybe he can pick up some better hands. And uh, we got some more calls on the river. I guess that's why it is. I, I agree with that hundred percent. But yeah, what you're trying to say, and uh, there, it's just a geometric bet sizing. You're correct. Yeah, like right. it's gonna, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's gonna geometrically bet equal proportions or as close mm -hmm. to on turns and rivers to get him all in with the polar aspects of your range. Mm -hmm. Right. If we are deeper, what do you guys want to do here? To build a pot even bigger to uh, get more. Uh, so. At 20 big blinds, uh, you might do some flatting here. Um, not as big of a fan of flatting aces out of position as I'll I am. I'll probably get a min raise. Min raise to like 4.5. I think I'm going to call. I'm always calling here. I'm always calling. It does call. Yep, always. Pretty much. And I always lose. Check. <laughs> 
Oh, it wants to just, it wants to donk a lot there. That's pretty interesting. Uh, give him a click. Give him a click, I think. Yeah. Nice. Uh, barrel small. Barrel big. He calls the click, so he has, he's happy. Yeah, I, I guess maybe. Have, I think at this point it doesn't matter too much. Honestly, if it kind of uh, does, I don't know. I guess you're right, Tim. I would say the texture of the board may push you larger. It Ooh, checks. Check. It does Ooh. a lot of checking. It does everything. Yeah, honestly. Awesome Actually, I, I was going to say all check. in because if you're putting half your stack in, you might as well put it all in. Yeah, you I was know. saying all in too. Which yeah, check. that's what I was, was thinking. Checking. I mean, because he's going to call there anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah, when he, he has... calls the click for me, I think we can play for stacks. But also remember, we check less than we we check we check less than we bet. It's just that the bet was spread out over the sizes. So how are, we, turn, how are we? How are we? How are how are we constructing our range here? Blind versus blind at thirty five. I'm probably just shoving right there. Thirty shoving is probably an acceptable answer. Thirty five is getting a little deep for that in my for my taste. I think I, I just don't want to be lost in the hand. You know what I mean? Uh, what's, here's what's the thing gonna... here. If you shove here and he has sevens, well, GG. Yeah. If you shove here and he has a good ace, GG. Uh, whereas if you call, you got position. You know. I just. You, yeah. and oh. he's raising some plenty of junk here. So oh, when, I, uh, when you shove, you get rid of the junk. I mean, I would yeah, always I'm, call here. I don't I'm know shoving or folding. But I'm always just calling here. I'm just trying to understand what the range is doing. Okay, so it. like it does, it does turn some of these trashy pairs into jams. That's what mm -hmm. I was gonna say. Fives, fours. I was thinking threes. Too. Okay, mm -hmm. makes sense, right? Yep, it's it's good. Even a, you, even a dog gets thinking, fed every once in a while. It, it makes it sense because some of his bluffs have like like trashy jacks that he's raising. Yeah, you know, it's like nice to get bolts from that actually. Yeah, he's raising like a low card, high card. You know what I mean? In there. So we are on the river, and no one has played this hand. What did we do? We well, called the flop. Beth small on the flop. We called turn one check, called, check, and then we're facing this bet. I'm I'm just gonna I'm folding. Just getting out of it. I would so, call the three x or a six x. Maybe. So there's something interesting on the flop here, like, and I think a lot of people probably make mistakes here. What is everyone defending? A raise call bet on a flop of this texture with a hand like this, because this was something. Though. This was something I made a mistake, and in a single raise pot, um, you're not folding any pairs versus a small c bet. It's just not really a thing. It's blind versus blind, where we have to be sticky. Actually, I started doing that. I think you guys said that in another one. I started doing that where before I was uh, folding small pairs. And on the flop, on a single race pot, I've been defending. And you catch those sets on the turn. When you do that, I've caught a couple, you know? Yeah, it's pretty nice. And, yeah. I mean, he's going to be just barreling air here a lot, too, is another component of that. And they give up sometimes, too. Yep, yep. So. And you're going to have opportunities maybe to, you know, oh. pick the pot up on later streets. Yeah. So like, I don't know, in my worst game, when I autopilot, I would just click the fold button here sometimes and it's a mistake. So like you're in this lovely check, check node now and you're made it to a river and you can just show it down. Win at a what, lot. At what size do you not defend it? <laughs> oh, I hate life. What do you mean by that, Chris? On that flop, if he bets pot 125, you're not continuing. At what size do you not call? Um, I mean, to make your life simple, I think everything, some of these lower under pairs are going to be indifferent versus a 66% bet pretty frequently. Okay. Perfect so, perfect example, Louis. The okay. small blind was raising, low card, high card. That's what a lot of them are raising. Queen's Five six. folding to eight. All right. So if he bets pot, you call with tens. That's right. You don't call any pair against pot size. And he has some pot size bets here. Sure. And eights. Oh, you got three eights. I see. <laughs> and it's six. Like, uh, you'll probably uh, just see, it, uh, you'll, you'll see some pretty heavy, heavy indifference there. I jam this a pretty good bit, I think. Are eights good enough to jam here? I jam I'm nines for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. jabbing again. Fine. 30. Yep, jabs a jam. Oh. 
We Thank jam you and hope you like jamming too. Yeah. Yeah. It's eight. That's what I did. Okay. Eights, nines, tens can can go. Yeah, nines, tens, I do, not eights. Sevens is, is where you, you start to call. Yeah. Eight? Well, and this is like, it, this it is also verse. Uh, well, it's first hijack, you know, like um, if it was low jack, if you moved up one position, I imagine that defense, that construction would move up a pip or so. Then it's nines. I would think, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think so too. Check. Yeah, we're here. We're checking. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, boo boo. We made a boo boo. Is that all in? Yeah. When you see the blue dotted line with the exclamation mark, that means we made a boo boo. And it doesn't exist. How is that? I would have never thought to go all in right there. Wow. I would three bet here. Do you guys call or raise here? I do uh, quite a bit of raising uh, here. Awesome. Yeah, because yeah, he, yeah, because he's opening up tens. So I always the way I structure mine is if he's opening up tens, I'll I can raise tens and up if I have the pocket pair. Not a bad that's, way to think about it. That's kind how of, I've been doing it. Kind of around that floor. Yeah. So In my bet. mind on this one, I'm more like Phil and Mut. <laughs> I set mine. I like set mining with these hands too, especially like the earlier position it gets. Well, but, uh, we played I'm okay. with fire here and we got burnt. Yep. Um, what do you the do box. now? <laughs> this, is, this is the box because yeah, in the I, box. Don't, I don't think it's like a slam dunk fold is the problem. I do think it's a slam dunk fold. Because we're blocking some of his straights too. If he was, uh, I think, yeah, I, I'm folding because it's I pretty have, hard to fold on this board. Tense is probably the worst I cards did. we can have, right? <laughs> I disagree because we block, like, say he has, think about his range. He has a bunch of jacks, right? And what are his worst jacks? Jack 10, right? Sure. So, sure. and then his bluffs, 9, 10. Yeah. So That's what I was thinking. Blocks all the worst part of his range and all of his bluffs. For yeah. Me, not Good point. Yeah. Never yeah. I thought you'd call. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. talked us, he talked us into it, Louis. <laughs> I, Louis, you, you have a talent for speaking with such conviction yeah. and absolution. Yeah. I know that you, that you almost convinced me. I know. And I'm thinking like, I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't fold this in game. But then I'm like, maybe I'm a fish. I'm trying yeah, to get too. you guys on my sinking ship. <laughs> well, your, sea, your, your, your ship is obviously not sinking. Misery <laughs> loves the company. <laughs> I think he's teaching us wrong. And then he's playing different in game so he can win. Is that what he's doing? Hey, back goes straight. Exactly. One. Exactly. <laughs> now I check this back. He's oh, keeping the goodness. ecosystem alive. <laughs> uh, I yeah, check I'm just here. checking, but I'm checking back. Yeah. Uh, I don't see any reason to bet here. 100% check. Okay. 100% who? 100% less 37.4% check. There we go. That's what I want. Why would you open up ding, the ding, 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 ding. What a run out. What a run out. That's okay, so, why it's all of a yeah. ten. Can, can I ask yeah. a question about that? Yeah. Yeah, Kelly. What's up? Uh, they did bet small there a, a fairly large portion of the time. If you Where's go back one? One yes. on the turn. Yes. And I, I don't understand opening up the betting there for 10%. Why would we do that? We got well, the blocker. I think uh, this card shifts equities, right? We bet, he check raise, we call. The thing is, when he check raise, equity shifts. But when we call his check raise, equity shifts again. And then this nine comes. And so on this nine, equity shifts again, right? So it's like a very tricky hand, but I think we can lead some. I think there's, I think there's says like bet, a. It I said think, bet. You can bet ten percent here. I don't. I think uh, some of that is also controlling the betting. Okay, so like we picked up equity. Um, you're targeting like his auto folds, like his zero EV clickbacks, if that's even a thing in his range. And you're controlling the pot versus Jack X. Like his Jack X, after you call that raise, can't just go bananas here i don't think all the time so uh, that's not why i'm doing it i'm doing it to get value from hearts so if you're doing it to get value why would you bet small instead of large 
because he's he's I want to get paid by like ace four of a heart here. You don't think ace four of hearts would pay sixty six percent as opposed to twenty? No, uh, no. My problem is, what if he check, does a double check, 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 check raise and jams? Check on the him? node. Check the node. Yeah, uh, I think with the tens on the flop, uh, you got the the good uh, shit, uh, Louis. When you said uh, you got uh, like a blocker on his bluff and a blocker mm -hmm. on his uh, weak jack, but yeah. on the turn when the nine turn come, you got tens. And so you blocker you got, it. Yeah, you're right. That's it. If you got all the blocker, the this card help you way more than the other. Oh. Yeah. I think you're keeping his raises in check with a bet like this. It's kind of the same reason you you donk flops, right? Like they they generally they can't just go bananas when you donk in certain spots. And I think this is kind of some of that same behavior. I'm guessing though. I mean, I'm not 100 percent sure. It's just how it makes sense in my mind. It's a fun spot. He's calling nine x. Mm hmm. So I guess you can get some value out of a nine there. So yes. let's look what his jacks are doing globally, right? Sure. So like when you make a little bet like this, King Jack no longer raising you, Ace Jack raising some. Um, some of these hands that were would be raising you from the flop, they you're kind of buying the river to some extent versus these hands. Whereas if you were to check this node, what do those hands do? Do they polarize? Hmm, that's a good question. We so, say, if so we, we check back, and we just say a uh, we just say a river. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so low jack checks, and we check from the. Oh, we're playing. Okay, so we check from the button. Yeah. So, like, okay, so what do they do on the river now? Like on different river runouts. It, I mean, the the question's kind of the same thing. He's yeah, checking I on that one. But my like, concern uh, would be open up the betting and lose my equity on this hand. You know, I, I, I don't understand why it would ever want to bet small like that. That just seems very strange. You, well, see, oh well. it's like, don't know. On the flop, Kelly, okay, we block a lot of his hands, okay? I understand. Okay, well, then the blocker still counts, right? Because when he checks raise the flop, having tens here, we block a whole bunch of stuff. Well, the whole bunch of stuff that we block got there. Say he has like queen 10 that we block, it, it gets there. So it reduces, like having two tens in our hand reduces the chance he makes the nuts and it gives us more nuts in our range. So yeah. we can kind of stab. And when we stab, we get we get called by worse. We get called by nine X, and we get called by like hearts. That's true. Well, what if he has a hand like eight seven of spades, and he just checked back the second time so he could check raise us again, and and now he shoves and we have to fold our hand because we don't get to see we don't get to realize our equity. Do you think we're gonna fold with pocket tens on eight nine ten jack? If he shoves, we're just going to out. We're done. We, 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 yeah, I'm not calling. I'm not calling 30 big blinds with a draw. Really? You got, you got, you don't have the, a draw here, Kelly. You have a, a second pair. <laughs> you got yeah. second pair and 10 second outs for pair. the nuts. Yeah. Okay. What, about, what about straight? You have straight. On the I kind of, we have on the river. Not on the turn. I kind of look at it like oh, you're, okay. you've got a uh, you got a pair you got a strong pair with a basically like a really strong blocker like he doesn't have a lot of the straight draws on this turn he doesn't have a lot of the straights on this turn exactly. okay not bet ten bet four there you go. Yeah, check. There you go. We're betting four. We're betting four, not ten. We're betting four, Louis. Wow. Well, He's just checking, I think. Yeah. Ten okay. is twenty-five percent. Four is ten percent. I would never that's, bet ten percent on this third person. I know, but that's what the that's what the uh, GTO. That's what the thing that's said the, is the bet four. I'm I'm a nerdy player. Like, look at the two yellow tones here. Do you see? It's a bit. 
more of the darker one what uh what louis saying is he just found like it found a minority frequency like the main frequency is going to be this uh quarter so see if he jams on if we bet small on the turn and he jams on us we're calling it down with 10 simple as that if you bet four are you calling it down that's what the, that's what the um that's what the scenario was bet four that was my question yeah, yeah does it does ever yeah it's gonna be the same thing <clears throat> i would think calling it's it down whatever okay. you bet for it then okay uh but then it's very uh, hard for us to be drawing dead here and not live for the times we're behind i think is kind of what's going on and look you, you get that hand to fold cool uh so this is like towards the floor of what i would call here calling still yeah yeah i think i'm folding here because you're getting yeah. Three rays from behind too many times. I don't know. Yeah, it gets hard to play versus squeeze. Like, Check. I think I make mistakes in that node. I like checking here, too, on the king. King two-toe. Yeah. Who does bet have, some, though? With this babe, I have some bet smalls. Mm-hmm. I would check it uh, out. Okay, so, like, when we're betting small with a spade, just uh, this is how I would think. I would be betting small because of the fact if a uh, spade comes on the turn i can barrel is that the reason or am yeah. i thinking yeah exactly okay just want to make sure i was gonna wonder if we ever bet on this turn after you check 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 checks sometimes no, no name what's, no name what's the what's the range there for low jack isn't it like sevens is full, full yeah three, you're in the free flop range chris you're yeah close, I, you're, it's supposed to be like sevens is defense there not yeah, five. Yeah. You're mixing with smaller pairs as well. Yep. Yeah, well, for a bit full, full of sevens, I believe, though, right? You're okay, close to yeah. that, Chris. Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah, I don't think I would check. This. check. Are this you is going to be. Chris? Sounds like it. He plays live though, so it's <laughs> so no no skin off his back for folding that hand. Yeah. No. Yeah, I fold that. The fold six is there to be honest. So this is one of those spots where you I think you can overfold. Yeah. Not here though. Not here. The bet's too small. But generally, <laughs> what EP, do we do with sixes? Um, you still. I think you still call all of those. It's more of like the question of a larger bet. If it so was if like it a, was half pot on up, you think fold? Half pot. I think I would start folding this hand. Okay. So those are the ones that what kind of size can they use? Always oh, mixing everything. He should be Let's using see, quite if a bit. Goes two, two big blinds. You're still sticking around, but you're starting. Fives to... is indifferent. Yep, yeah. you're you're indifferent at this point. So three, anything, anything larger, you're oh, basically out. Half pot, you're got, you're out. So this is like. Louis, a, did you limp? Oh, excuse me. Did you limp pre flop? Okay. Nope. I checked. No, he, did. he completes from the big blind. Yeah, I yeah. That's what I'm asking. That's why yeah. it's good to see that big on this kind of board uh, when you're UTG with like king queen, you get to fold like all the pair. Yeah, I agree <laughs> too with that. I, I've really, I mean, the fact that this is a uh, ace nine deuce, it's very, very, very dry. So I might still bet small, but oh uh, yeah, we're getting scammed here. Just get out of there. Yep. <laughs> Jam. I like checking back there with king queen too. So a king or queen comes, you can uh, okay. dominate That's somebody. Mm -hmm. I was going to say you could start jamming here yep. at twenty big blinds. Slow jack's a little dicey, but uh, that uh, side we're so set cut off button easy. Yeah, exactly. That's where that's what I was getting at. Um, See here. how the low jack is using a bigger size, even mm -hmm. though the SPR is really small. He's turning it into a two street game. With this, it's like it makes a pretty clean turn, Jim. Yep. Yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah, we'll fold there. I but, yeah. Too. You're crazy if you're calling that. You're crazy. We would call the small bet, though, there, right? Yeah, uh, I think with the spade, probably. Yeah. Call yeah. here. Here we can be raising call a bit. Call. call. It's a mix, call. this one. Check. check. 
All right. So my sure. question is, do you ever raise a combo like this? No, nope. I think I, I would just fold. Are we you can't fold. Once? You can't fold. You got too much interaction with the Jack and the Queen. Well, here's the thing. Uh, Ken, if we look at Ken Teal, Ken Teal <laughs> said, <laughs> if there's two Broadway on the board, we fold on the pairs. And if yeah, you go to the, uh, you we have the additional yeah, but the NTO is wrong. Two Broadway one of them. I think the betting. I think the best too small was out there. I mean, you wouldn't fold tens here, would you? Yeah, uh, I'm never folding there. Sevens, eights are mixing, so it's like okay, okay. Nines and tens are special. Yeah, for that that yeah, only because reason. they they have interaction. Okay, so it's too nifty to fold. You can call, but if you make your straight on the nine, it's going to be terrible. It's not like super exciting or anything. Another small bet. Um, but like if it right. runs out 10 a you're not going to be able to it'll say you know? in game, in game, I'm probably out. Solver's going to call though. So call, solver is out. What do you mean? It's king, queen, jack are playing under the gun. Why would you want to stick around? You got yeah, a you're... stand, king, king turn, ace turn. We're out. I mean, we yeah. should be even. A, I don't even understand why we call. Like we call to get a you... ten or, or 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 a nine, a ten or, or a nine. nine. You have yeah. outs to winnable hands here. So sometimes. if we don't get one of our outs, I mean, and you're ahead of, I hate you're ahead of his king, ten, eight. Yeah, yeah, we were getting hard to there. To forget ten yeah. or a nine. Um, yeah, we put it perfectly against his game. We pulled on your head. We pulled so next five. hand, we're here. I think. Do we ever jam here? I mean, fifty is a lot, oh, but we're at maybe too much call here. Uh, so way maybe much. fives. Five. Okay, so. so do you think we have jamming components of your range here? Too no, deep. I think, I think jam at fifty. I think you nope. need to get down to about forty. Too no, deep. there's no jams. It's like thirty-five big blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forty. We have yeah. not crazy. Thirty-five. Yeah. Hey, this doesn't suck. Let's take a look. At I love something. this. <laughs> Small blind. I, think I raised this. I'm just calling. Why? I think it's a fine call. I don't think it's torching as a race. Yeah. This is like a situation you're way ahead or way behind. No. What's up? Oh, it's like we have showdown value and we have um, showdown. It's like a, Ooh, it's a pair plus draw, right? I don't so think we, we really I always misplay this spot. What does he? What does he want to do? Do they want us to he, bet out? I always check this too, and I always misplay this. He wants to bet small here. Yeah. I guess we have more straights. He has the ace. All, he has the ace all the time. Yeah, we got more aces, don't we? Now. We have aces. We got more ace suited, I think. Yeah, we have a lot of more ace x. You guys are crazy. What are y'all? What, what are y'all? What are y'all on? What are y'all on? Yeah, we would be three betting. We would be Catherine. three betting a lot of our better aces, and Button's going to have all the aces here. Yeah. So, so let's see. Verse. Verse. Basically, one hundred percent of aces. So we are. Like we don't have ace betting. two suited. We don't have ace. We are three six betting. Suited. We don't have ace seven suited. We are three betting full frequency. All of our aces, with the exception of ace jack offsuit and like some of these middling suited wheel aces, these middle suiting suited aces and a couple of the wheels. Whereas, like, he's got full frequency RFI. So, I mean, we should definitely have less ace x here. Yeah. I want to know what is the range of the ace you, you treat that pre flop. <laughs> I'm if, checking that. I don't it's care. picking all the trashy ones. So like your ace ten, ace nine, and some of like the wheels a little bit. Nothing range. Maybe, what it is, is maybe he can't raise with us with an ace when the flush comes in. Maybe if it was a different three. Maybe that's why we can bet out here. I think it's so. Was it betting large or was it betting small? Small. I I just small. betting small. I think you're just going. I think you're just controlling the the pot here. I mean, we have some six X, we have some flushes. It's not like a naked ace is going to go bananas here versus you and get it all in on the turn, right? Right. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. So you're controlling the pot to kind of let your equity complete. So here are the good turns for us: a three and an ace. Yeah. Yeah. But the range sense. is checking. The range is checking a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. The range for the most part is checking. Six is great. <laughs> Except we don't get called. 
See, that's this is the perfect outcome right here. Now, like you've managed SPR, I think I'm checking. Mission yeah. accomplished on the turn. Yeah. And like, I'm, if he uh, goes bananas here, you can just fold. Like I'm folding versus this probably. I mean, this is yeah. going to be a bluff catch. It's going to be a fine bluff catch, but. Uh, what kind see. of components do you want to have when you bluff catch here? You would want to have a spade. Here it's impossible, but. You're right. We have a spade in our hand, snap call. It's a four or liner. A seven, right? or a seven is pretty nice because it can block some sixes. Yeah, seven's pretty nice. Like, um, I think pocket deuces with the deuce of spades makes a pretty nice candidate. I'm not folding. Um, I'm, yeah. not folding I think a, I'm not folding either. I think you he don't can have, to have, have a lot of ace-x with a spade in it. I think he can have a lot of ace-x with a spade. Yeah, but ace-x beats us. Ace-x with a pair. Ace-x beats us. Ace-x is a straight. Yeah. And we have a... Well, see, this is why I've been losing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so there's iterations of my game where I would have just snapped bluff caught this, but I think current Galen is uh, just going to be folding the spot. Okay, what what it, what are her what is his bluffs here? What are his bluffs here? King of King of Spades, maybe. King of Spades, seven X. Is the fold? Wow. It's the fold, stupid folding. Folding sets. You're you're all, all like a bunch of sets. Of, you're all a bunch of fish, all of you. I don't this know. Maybe I'm five a calling X. station. This one is an easy so. fold on the river. You gotta you gotta embrace the knit. Oh. <laughs> I'm a calling station, so. But okay, five can be a call. Interesting. Five so, is a call. Four is mixing. Three is folding. Yeah. I speed all the other sets that are bluffing. I think his sets are bluffing here. So fives beat fours and threes and deuces. So I think that may be worth splitting hairs. To, to me, it's crazy that we call with more like a hand like king five suited here. Yep. Is this a flush? It has to be. No, it's not. My no, king, it's not. So you're blocking ace king. You're blocking some of his obvious straights here. I think it's kind of what. Uh, king five, at. you're blocking ace five, you're blocking king five. Because he raises all, yeah, he raises king. all of his aces. Yeah, yeah you're ace. blocking at you're blocking ace five. That's another one. So you're blocking with threes, you ace block king. nothing, right? I mean, maybe some ace three, but that's about it, right? Yeah. And he's he's like, okay, yeah. Ace three suited, just one left. Hmm? Okay, so we fold here. Yeah, on four liners, stuff, right? Ugh. Six. Oh, he had the he had the sixes, the Uber nuts. He got it. All right, a hundred big blinds deep. I like three betting here, so not me. I think I'm it's the fill fill and move strategy. Set I line. Think, yeah, I just want to <laughs> get the, a knight. Call. Oh, yeah. It's like the knit strat there. Check fold. <laughs> See, my thing is, when I hit my eight, I want to be able to easily access a 200 big blind pot by the river. Yeah, I understand your point. That's for sure. You, you three bet me. He's gonna me. be accessing your 200 big, big 200 big blind pot there with top set. Maybe people, it's people all the just way get scared. Pot. People give more respect to a big blind three bed and a small blind three bed when they're opening EP. Anyways, it's scary, right? Somebody three bets you from the, somebody three bets you from the blinds. You're like, oh well, that's obviously the nuts, right? And it normally hey. is. It normally is much yeah. stronger. Uh, I like calling here. Wouldn't be surprised to see if well, it's not going to fold because it's close to the button. Also, it's a bigger, you know, it's not just, it's not just scary that he's doing it. It's also a bigger bet from the blinds. Mm -hmm. Well, that's part of the whole reason, right, Scott? Like yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're opting yeah. up for a bloated pot out of position yep. versus a very strong range. What kind yep. of insane person wants to do that? High frequency uh, call, no three bet. Oh, you got the nuts, hey. check. So six high board, we can dunk a little bit. I like that hand right here. Now bet, bet, uh, size up. Well, you're not, you're not oh. donking on a six high board from the small blind, are you? Yeah, that's what it. From that's what it told blind, him to do. Maybe. That's what it told him to do. 
I'm not doing it either, though, Kelly. Even though it is sort of well, a I'm thing. saying from the big blind maybe, but not the small blind. That's that's, that's what I want to see. The sliver. Okay. It's it's like you're gonna use six x seven eight eight x hands, maybe a little bit of nine x. You wanna push it like upper parts of what could be a string. Did you bet big on the turn? Yeah. Yeah. See, I yeah. would I would have been small. Why? So your your small bet at hundred big blinds is about half pot. By the way. How do you structure your range after one street goes check, check, Juan? It's always the same. So your, your to... best hands are betting big. Your your medium hands are betting medium, are betting like uh, small. But I mean, isn't that kind of, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I guess you know, this, you I know guess exactly what cards, I mean, right? Yeah, the spade came off, though. That's like my worst card I want to hit. Peel off, though. It, it goes check, check on the flop, Juan. He, yeah, he's he. Oh, he, okay, I get it. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay, he was telling a story and I didn't read it right. Okay, never mind. I would get it. You're right. Why well, do I have a problem with that all the time too? I do that. That's why I'm losing. That's why I'm a fish. Yay! Oh, I like that river. Bet. A little bit too greedy here. Yeah. Mm. But I don't think it matters because I don't think people fall. Well, with, look uh, at the EV. It's pretty close. Yeah. The EV is close. I agree. What? Hold the ace jack. Nah, yeah, he doesn't have a spade. Wow. If he had a spade, he was going to call it off. I think he's mixing. He's mixing. He's just trying to. Wow. I'm tired yes. of being a guppy. I need you guys to turn me into a great white. I showed my mm. wife all the winnings yesterday. And she was oh. telling me I need to get my shit together. Oh, you guys are crushing me. <laughs> no joke. That's what she told me. And I go and I showed her my $10 win. <laughs> he called it, he called Ace Jack and then folded when he hits his ace. What's he calling Ace Jack for? What size are you gonna go for here and why? 5.65. I would go 5.65 also. All right. What were, uh, what kind of shenanigans did we do here? Do we three bet pre flop? I'm guessing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a bit so smart. the fact that there's a flush draw, I think we are going for the quarter size. Yeah, I think it's a standard it, with an ace on the board. is still kind of a standard. If five, it was five, rainbow, five. if it was rainbow, I would go ten percent. I highly disagree with everyone on this one. Louis is going to say he wants to go very grande. We're blocking all the values, the only problem. Yeah, the problem that's why yeah, I wouldn't. That's why I wouldn't go big. How deep? But how deep are we? Seventy, effective. 70. But I mean, that's all I need. What's your SPR though? Your SPR is not that not that deep. You're deep, breathe. big blinds wise, but I have not, I have the perfect oh, wow. answer for you. Na 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 You put the super nuts into the small category. Oh, see, na 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 na. So, Louis, I would like you to say that one more time about highly disagree. I highly disagree, and I'm in the potatoes. It likes the ten percent better than the twenty-five, though. Did you see that? Yeah, because he just. So, why you guys want to bet small here again? I want to bet. I want to bet the twenty-five percent. It's a very have, easy answer that I think Nick can answer very eloquently. Nick, you have the floor. You have the absolute super nuts, and you're blocking the calls. And when you have the super nuts, you put it in your small bet range to protect your garbage hands. Oh, it's one big blind bet. Boom. Boom! That's my answer, Nick. Thank you. I didn't even have All to right. say it. I knew you knew it. All right. I mean, if we trip it and we don't hit our ace, oh, look, oh, look, it's the dream. Oh, it's the dream. That. It's the dream. Ooh, oh, oh that. call. Just call. Just call. Just call. Call. No okay. way. There's you no way I'm just calling. Him. You have to keep it oh in his blood. There's no keep way. Him. What are we doing? You gotta keep it in his blood. Oh, oh, come on. Calling. Come on. Don't be crazy. This is this oh, is like a tank anyways. call. Like, oh, I hate yeah. this. Oh, oh it's so yeah, sick. I, I guess I call. <laughs> JK. Yeah, oh, it is a call. 100%. Fortune. Seriously, yeah, I'm always wishing to do anything other than call that. Tell me why really. you guys call here. Okay, what so a... pre Louis, pretend we're fishing. You make right? Pretend you're, <laughs> pretend you're, hold on, hold on. Pretend you're fishing, Louis. You got to fish on the line, all right? 
you don't want to pull and set the hook too hard because you'll rip the hook out of his lip and then the fish is going to get away so you know you just slow and steady pull the fish up to the boat and like you know so raising you're just pulling too much you're getting a little too but over aggressive I, I, I use very big hooks and very hard wire <laughs> okay <laughs> let, me, let me give you another analogy that's, that's not a fishing analogy how about a poker analogy he doesn't have an ace it's very likely he doesn't have an ace and if he has a flush draw we're getting all right he's if he's got three sevens, we're going to get the money anyway. If he's got three yeah. threes, we're going to get the money anyway. Uh, right, I like exactly. the way Nick put it. Oh, let's just thank, thank God. And, and if he turns thank the flush, call. he's going to get call. the money. Yeah. That's fine. Exactly. We still have Alex. Check. Now just I go call. on. No, I'm just calling. Oh. Now you want to jam? No, I'm mm -hmm. calling. Just Why? Call, man. It's not crazy. See, you don't need to jam. You don't need to call. Jam so what's I your plan? Here because what's your plan on the river? The problem is happens, the three bet hits. plot. So in the three bet plot, I, the caller of the three bet, I always is going to have the more the most flushes because we're going to be polar and it's going to be condensed. That's true. So when listen. the flush comes, it's not good for us. Yeah, if a non spade comes, I'm calling. And if a spade comes, I'm probably going to fold, depending on what it is. I want a spade to come oh. so I can watch Louis dunk jam. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly the worst <laughs> card ever. You, you know what? guys, it was I so easy. On. You know what? I no, got the worst on the card. Block. Worst, I would do 10%. The worst here. is stuff in the 654 range. Louis that is so upset. Louis do. is so upset. He doesn't know what to do. It and... He doesn't know what to do now. I would, I would, I mean, I, I know what to do. We're gonna check call, but no, it's so I would dirty. do seven. If he has sevens or trees, it's gonna go check, check. I you know, he's gonna show the seven of spades because you, you know might what? Have... What, does call, what, does what does he call? What does he raise? What does he because I think I'm gonna have to call off a bigger bet if I if I check. You know what? I don't hate your answer. Yeah, yeah I was gonna bet. say, I oh, like a, I like a four bet. Wow, wow, okay. I'm wow. Why is it lost in this end? I'm never doing that either. <laughs> so you know why I chose 24? 24? You know why I chose 24 over seven? Because it's a great show. Because seven, you're, you're inviting seven checker. Spades. No, 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 no. You're inviting raises when you only bet 10%. Like we don't have a we don't have a raise call hand. So you know he's not gonna raise more of his polar aspects when you go. Uh, larger sizing like this. That's my race fold bet. Exactly. He's not going <laughs> to raise the, we... the seven of spades, right? Right. right. We... God, it's like so few hands we even get here with. Yeah, I don't think I can do this bet right here. We're in such a Me small either. part of the game tree. I'm either, because I think if I check, I'm going to have to call off a bigger bet. So my thing is I'd rather bet seven. If he raises me, then I just fold. Like what, you know what, I mean? what flushes do we even get here with? Um... A lot the best ones. <laughs> I was thinking like no, because we like ace king with the king of spades is gonna raise before this, right? Like maybe king, some portion of the king time. Jack. We'll check you're, gonna, you're gonna have king jack some, you're gonna have like some trashier king x. King seven actually might even be in there some. When do we three bet king seven pre? We don't. I'm saying his. Are we talking about the low jack or the small blind? Small blind. I'm talking about us. Oh, I'm backwards, don't mind me. And then All right, the here comes you're a spike call. You're indifferent. Oh, here comes a spike call. Ew. <laughs> How does he raise that? How Boy, is that, that? Ugly. All right, guys, uh, I got to get off and run to the bank. Uh, appreciate it. We'll see you guys in Discord later. Well, hey, man. I won. Uh, Galen, do you want to do it two hours after then? Whenever works, man. You tell me what's good for you. Well, I'm no, you, had, you originally said an hour, but because I have to get in that one meeting. Yeah, we can, we can, we can shoot yeah. for after that. That'll be fine. Okay, two hey, hours Matt's after seminar, night. Okay? Matt's All right. webinars today right. at two, by the All way, right, Central you. Standard Time. You guys knew that? Finish. Matt's webinars today. Okay. Oh, it is. Yeah, I just, I, yeah. What has he been up to recently? Anything good? No good. He's been up to no good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've been playing a lot. 
I'm playing yeah. golf in Champagne Thursday, Nick. Nice. If you want to come down, we need a fourth. I will be in Salt Lake City. Checking. Oh, that's right. You already told me that. What's different? The flush comes oh, in. We did. Remember this the, is how we caller, so it's the same. This is how we played it. Oh, he didn't raise that time. This time he just raised with two eights there, boys. Why do we right. want it? Why does he? So the line we just took is no no now. What 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 was different? It turned last time he didn't check. raise that. He didn't raise that. He didn't raise right. the flop. Wow. Oh okay. Oh that's right. He check raised this on the flop, didn't he? Oh that's right. Oh different hand. Sorry. Oh, let's different do that. Hand. That was good. Got him. Oh, he's at noon. Multi-way pocket stamp. He raised us with an eight with the pocket eights there. That was weird. Yeah. Oh well. I'll be playing. I can't watch man. Check, 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 check. Call, 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 call. All in. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's uh it's feeling brave today. Hmm? That's weird. What do you do now? Check. Oh man, yeah, I think he fold. I folding him. Yeah. All right. Well, we got ace of scrap. What do you want to do here with fives? I don't want to fold, to be honest. Here, fold. 25 bigs flying under the gun. Yeah. Yeah, it feels bad, doesn't it? No, it's it really, feels really good. Oh, yeah. I would check your hat. It feels bad, bad when you're going to get a flop like that. Oh, it's a monotone board win position. We should be betting a lot. Oh, let's bet it now. Let's and the ace now. of spades is on the board, so he doesn't. Now. Yeah. We do not have so to bet value. five big lines in here, Scott. I want to bet. Um, what, what size do I want to bet? I want to bet 3.7. Well, it's five big lines, and I would yeah, no 3.7 big lines. I was wrong, but that's what I want to bet. Yeah, totally after wrong. check, check, you want to go, yeah. go big. Yeah, well, 55 percent. Whoa. Whoa! I'm he a caller. Folded he folded an ace. He folded an what? Ace he folded an ace ten with a straight draw too. What? Okay. Hey, try try to get somebody to fold that in a twenty two dollar game. <laughs> he 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 gets the nit nitler tag. Yeah, fair point. Fair point. <laughs> I was not targeting an ace. <laughs> check 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 check. Check, check. Uh, <laughs> um, that range. Bet. Oh no, sorry. That's that's not the big blind. Check. Oh, we did that. That's sure. Insane. If you squint, it looks like a set. <laughs> <laughs> Quads. Full, 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 full. Call. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Pocket dudes never lose. I don't understand. So do you jam here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 20. Yeah. Just running some equity. That's what we're here uh, doing two, today. Three, two, Easy game. Hey, we win. I call here a lot. Yes. Good call. All right. Check poll. This is one of those nasty boards. Check, still giving up. We're he's got pocket aces. We're about to get scammed, or he's got ace king of hearts. Or he has like tens, and we have. No, oh, he's gonna beat. Yeah. He's gonna beat us with deuce seven. We're beat either way. Yeah. There we go. Um, I like jamming here. I do too. Yeah, we're good. Deuces never lose. 
Jam. I like jam. maybe this might be the bottom of the rays. No, I think I was going to. I think you raise here. They're jams. They're just jams. Don't care. Just jams. Okay. You're too shallow. If you're like we're 25, 30, I think it starts three betting. 20 is uh, 20. Uh, over a limp, we would jam here too, right? No, I just uh, raise over a limp. Yeah, I was going to say over. If there's just, a limp, I'm raising to like four or something. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. ISOing over a limp. Okay. I don't want to jam over a limp into like almost 12 bigs. I want it pre show. Oh, if it goes like limp call, like if it's multi way hey, limp, limp hey. I'm going to uh, jam Even much larger. more liberally. Over bet. Over bet. Two x bot. I don't have that. Why not? That's this not, is like no. this is a great great board okay like we're unblocking everything like this is like the best hand to over bet it's our with. only sizing yeah i was gonna say like of all the hands this is the best one to do it with it's because our betting so, range is so polarized so he's extremely got, polarized. he's got he's got a ton got of nine x here he's got a ton of flush draws here he's got a ton of ace x here like we're just coolering everything he has except for ace nine obviously yeah. interestingly the do six and the three x to have a backdoor flush. I can make the flush or the straight. So can we make the straight three four. No, no you need you need three five three. suited or two five suited. No, no, but so I know it's only fifteen percent. But what's our what's our bluffs here? We're bl wow. He's showing you. He's showing you right now. The flush draws. Okay, queen three, queen deuce. Yeah. It's, it's the aids and the hearts. Place. And then yeah, five the, three and five two. The for flushy the draws. Flush draws. If you really feel in froggy, I was gonna say eight seven. Is it doing that with just flush draws? Of course. Or yeah. is it doing it with some others? It's just the flush draw. Okay. Well, well these okay. No, no, no. It's got a little bit of the other ones. I was gonna say it might pick a might pick hands that are wrapping around the nine, but I mean we might be over bluffing if we get too in the weeds with that. Okay, I mean, we notice we're, we're checking eighty four percent of the time. Good game. Good game. I'm tilted. Um, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really upset about this hand. Oh, yeah. My God. I, yes. I want to self harm after watching this run yes. out. Yes. Did turn it into a bluff. I mean, my, I felt my blood pressure rising just when that ace of diamonds hit the river. <laughs> Why? Now, if we had a card that was bigger, like say it was tens there that we were full of. That would still be an all in, right? Because we get value from the nine. Say who, what, when, where, why? We have the full house. Oh, right. yeah, but we're, but we're a full house, but our full house, tens, tens full of aces at least beats nines full of aces. And our right. fours full of, our fours full of aces beats. Oh, nine. I understand what you're saying. Right. So we didn't get counterfeit to the worst full house. Um, I, I still think his range is just so littered with ASEX that you're probably going to play it the same way. You're not going to play it aggressively, I doubt. Hmm. Were we calling a bet there? I probably. Wasn't. Yeah, probably. we have that part of the suit. No, not here. I meant. I we meant, had a card uh, of the suit, so yeah. I don't. Are. I don't think you. I think that's your bluff catcher. That full house. I don't think you get to fold. Uh, uh, you might though. You might. I don't know. I didn't see. Um, you just raised thirties too deep to jam. A card of the suit is bad there, Louis. Jk. JK. Just uh, take it pile. No, I think it's good. Why why? Was it wouldn't we we've moved on? Never mind. Well on the river it's bad, but on the flop and on the turn, it's good. Oh right. No, I meant on no, I meant on the I meant on the river. On the river. Like a little bit larger sizing here um for the reason that he's got a lot to continue with i might just jamming's too much right jamming's too much. what is that we don't yeah what to. is that what is the action here three bet call we three bet maybe yeah. maybe 50 percent then that's small then let's do the louis thing you bet, bet a third always just yeah third. you i'm wrong it's just really small the spr is kind of goofy like you don't need to bet big at all yeah if we're super deep i love a big bet but Continue small. See, I, I wouldn't do. I don't think I do that. I think I do five point seven, maybe. I like five point seven as well. Yeah, but the thing is, don't, okay, don't you want five. to get the draws to call now? I knew yeah, I it want was, to get value. I knew it was now. eleven. 
Yeah. We're just sizing up for value. I don't I don't have this in my game to where you leave yourself six big blinds behind on the turn. I do this all the time. Yeah. And I <laughs> the never worst card in the deck. I'm tilted. I'm mad. Uh I can feel my blood pressure. Right. Behind. No, you don't. Oh, oh. You don't oh my care. God. It's still you worth four things to bet there. Screw that. You don't Screw care. That. Ow. You don't care. You no, know, it's no time to be afraid. We get called by words. It doesn't always show up with the straight here. It's fine. Just just ninety percent of the time. It seems like our, it seems like it, it seems oh. like our, those nine big blinds are in a tournament are more valuable to us to hold on to than to win another nine. So Scott, Absolutely. let me let me ask you: Are you planning to check fold then? Because there's a four four gapper or four line with a gapper in there. No, I was in position. That was okay. Point. Oh wait, we were out position. of position. That was in position. That I had the gift of being able to do that safely. You have the gift of preserving your terminant life. Yeah. I mean, so, of, so we were in small eight, blind. Eight point nine big blinds. I thought we were in the small blind. We but were in I small blind. We were, we, were in, we were in position. We were in the okay. button. We were? Mm -hmm. Okay. And he checked to us with his two pair, which we got value from. But I, I mean, I, I don't think he's checking us straight there very often. But. Solver yeah. will. Yeah. So. With, with that small SPR, I don't think, you know, with that minuscule SPR, I don't think that he's ever checking the top straight. I, I don't think he's, he's trapping, but. Yeah. Honestly, it's, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal either points. way. Like the equities are going to be very close and it's yeah. just balancing what the other end of the solver is doing. So like Nick, sometimes it's just going to bet, but it's yeah, going to just bet because he's not checking his straights. And then other times it's going to balance it the other way where it's jamming because he is, he's not. He doesn't have that in. He doesn't have straights in his check range there. Right. It's it's hard to really implement that globally, real life, because people are going to do different things. You know. Yeah. It's an odd thing because SPR is so like you got eight eight big blinds left behind. Yeah. 